A billionaire we all know is secretly building a business around investing into and finding a cure for aging. Longevity research has been a very underfunded field in science for as long as it has existed without many notable people being interested in it. But now, after longevity research has started showing some actual results on its own, billionaires and other investors are starting to take this field onto the next level to finally allow us to stop and undo the aging process. Welcome to AI News. Today I will talk to you about the newest Aubrey the Grey news regarding a secret top billionaire starting his own anti-aging company, who it might be and what this will accomplish. Last week, the most prominent figure in the longevity research community, Aubrey the Grey, has announced that one of the biggest event of this community will transpire in around a month. It's, it, it's slightly unfortunate that we're doing this AMA now rather than a month or so from now because the stuff that I can't talk about that is happening that, you know, um, will be really seismic in this field. People are getting involved in this who have not been involved before. Uh, somebody whose name we all know and whose name I cannot mention but who has been talking to me and been interested in this for more than 15 years is finally going to be doing something and if you're listening for God's sake don't get up the way Larry Ellison did 20 years ago and the way Larry Page did eight years ago get it right um, but yeah I mean it's getting we're getting there we're getting there my job I, I, I'd like to think that I'm getting to that point that I've always hoped to be at where I can retreat into glorious obscurity and um, let the world get on with fixing this problem. From this video we can make the very valid guess that he's talking about Jeff Bezos. You may ask why that is the case. Well, Jeff Bezos has just recently left Amazon's CEO position with several billions of dollars taken from his Amazon stock. People taking this much money all at once from stock usually means that they are planning on investing in back into something. For example, this is how Elon Musk has done it, when founding almost all his companies. Secondly, Jeff Bezos has on multiple occasions talked about longevity-related topics and has just recently said that he wanted to be the oldest person living. And now to the most telling part. Aubrey the Grey and Jeff Bezos have first met in 2006 at a TED Talk, and after that, Jeff has been asking Aubrey at every year's TED Talk since then, how the status around longevity seems to be. And guess what, 2006 is 15 years ago which is coincidentally the exact same time frame, Aubrey said, that the new investor has been interested in longevity for. While Jeff Bezos will definitely be the biggest billionaire of them all to ever create a business around longevity, he wasn't the first. Several billionaires have half-heartedly attempted to enter the market in the history of longevity research but unfortunately failed due to having had other projects going on at the time. In 2013, Google formed aging research company Calico. Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison has donated hundreds of millions of dollars to aging research. There are a slew of other bigger companies tackling aging, including BioAge, BioViva, the Longevity Fund, Ajax and the Methuselah Foundation. Peter Thiel, the billionaire co-founder of PayPal, is known for his early investment in Facebook, but now he is betting big on biotech. Thiel said that he believes anti-aging medicine is structurally unexplored and that the way people deal with aging is a combination of acceptance and denial. They accept there is nothing they can do about it, and deny it's going to happen to them. Thiel takes hormone growth daily and is planning to participate in cryonic freezing after his death. Cryonic freezing is a process where dead bodies are immediately frozen after death to potentially unfreeze them once the disease that killed them can be cured which in theory revives the frozen person. But that is a very speculative venture. Extending the human lifespan is rooted deep in the human psyche. Over many centuries, people have chased the seemingly impossible goal of living longer with the help of pills, potions, and fountains of everlasting youth. Today, the quest is backed by increasingly complicated science spurred on by labs and biotech companies. The eventual goal is to understand the mechanics behind aging on a molecular level so they can slow it. In theory, aging is quite flexible and can be targeted. We can delay aging, we can stop many manifestations of aging, and in some cases we'll be able to reverse aging. That's becoming more of a popular thinking as time goes on. Just 10 or so years ago, you were laughed at or called crazy if you said something like this. But today, the most powerful people on the planet agree with it. 
The general population on the other hand is pretty skeptical of it though. When asked how many more years they would like to live if they could stop aging after 25, most people revealed they had a threshold and limit. It turns out the majority of people don't actually want to live forever, only 57% say they would only want another 100 years or less. The age group that is more likely to ask for 51 to 100 more years are those 60 years of age or older. As people age, they tend to think of time as more precious than their younger counterparts which makes this anything but conclusive since everyone will eventually become old and believe that they need more time in this world. Previous attempts of billionaires trying to live forever were largely in connection with blood transfusions. While this may seem like something straight out of a sci-fi horror movie, there are companies out there performing trials into the effects of transfusing blood from young, healthy people into those who feel that they're getting on in years. That's not to say it was restricted to the elderly since anyone aged 35 and up is viable for this service. Billionaire PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel has made headlines over the past few years for his rumored interest in this process, specifically related to a startup company called Ambrosia. This isn't new ground for Thiel who has made investments in several medical research startups looking at ways to extend life via his breakout labs fund. People are also scared of some sort of dystopian future where only rich and powerful people live forever while us regular folks don't get to benefit from something like this. Although my personal opinion on the topic is that, as with all previous technologies that were originally only for the very rich, this too will eventually get into the hand of all us regular citizens. Especially since even billionaires will benefit from having their consumers and workers live longer healthier lives and don't need to be taken care of the last 20 years of the lives. So what is your opinion on billionaires finally getting into the field of longevity? Do you think that as long as there's money flowing into the research of curing aging, it is a good thing regardless of where the money came from? Or do you believe that this could lead to some sort of dystopian future where billionaires like Jeff Bezos are living forever while poor people keep on dying young? Please tell us in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.